Today I got a really good question from a viewer about random number generation in C. So typically in C coding examples, we will seed the random number generator with the current time. And the idea is that our program is going to run at a different time each time it executes. And therefore the seed will be different each time it executes. But what if the program ran multiple times in the same second? If that's the case, we're going to be seeding the random number generator with the same value each time, and rand, the function that actually produces the random numbers, is going to generate the same value each time. So basically the question is, how do we fix this situation? Let's go over this. First, let's actually go over the problem itself. We'll include the stdlib.h library, where the rand function is defined, and we'll also include time.h, which allows us to use the time function to seed the random number generator with the current time. And then here we'll say srand, and this function seeds the random number generator, and we'll seed it with the current time. So the function time, when it's called with the argument null, is going to return the current time in seconds. And now we could call rand. So we'll say int randval is equal to rand. And we'll call the rand function, which is going to produce a random integer between zero and some very large number, and we'll store it into randval. And then here we'll print it out. We'll say printf percent d backslash n randval. And we'll save this here. And then over here we'll compile our program. And if we run it, we'll get a random value. If we run it again, we'll get a different random value. But what if we run it, say, five times in the exact same second? So here I've got a script. And this script here is going to run the seed program five times, one after the other. And here we'll say bash script.sh to run it. And notice this. We get the same number five times in a row. If we run it again, we will get different numbers this time, but that's because a few seconds have passed. But you'll notice that again, we get the same numbers one after the other. And what's going on is that the program is running five times very quickly, all in a row, and they all run within the same second. And therefore, we're using the same seed value each time. And we're getting the same random numbers each time. Because it's really the seed that's going to determine the sequence of random numbers we get. So how can we fix the situation such that we can run the program multiple times within the same second, but get different random numbers when we use rand? To do this, we're going to have to give a different seed value here. And what we'll do is use the process ID. So on our computer, each process has an ID. You can see it here in the activity monitor for Mac OS where each process has this different process ID. And the computer uses that to uniquely identify each process. We can actually get the process ID of our program as it's running. So to do this, we're going to include another library. We're going to include unistd.h. And this library has a function called getPID. And the getPID function will return the process ID of this running process for this program. And we'll actually use that in conjunction with the current time. So it's not just the current time that's determining the seed value. It's also going to be the process ID. And what we'll do is multiply the current time by the return value of the get PID function. We'll also output the PID just so we can see it. We'll say here int PID is equal to get PID. And here we'll output the random number. We'll say rand colon percent 10 D. We'll put a comma here. And we'll also output the process ID. So we'll say printf PID percent D backslash N. And we'll output PID. And we'll save this. So what we're doing here is we're using the current time and the process ID. So even if the program runs multiple times in the same second, each time it runs, it'll have a different process ID. And we're now factoring that into the seed by multiplying the time by that unique ID. Let's try this version. 
we're going to recompile the program and then we'll try our script. So we'll try bash script.sh and notice this. Now we're getting different random numbers each time. And we can do it again and we'll get the same effect. Different random numbers each time. And the difference is the process ID is unique, even though the program is running multiple times within the same second. So this library here is actually for Unix-like systems, like Linux and Mac, but there's an equivalent library for Windows if we want to use this technique. Now, if we want to get really serious about having a unique seed value for our random number generator each time it runs, eventually we'll have to incorporate some kind of hardware. I've heard stories of websites using measuring devices that measure the wind, for example, and incorporate that into the seed value. But in terms of answering this viewer's question, this should solve the problem for them. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.